In the second part of our TwinCat 3 HMI tutorial, we will start by adding some navigation tabs. If you haven't watched the first part of this tutorial, we can watch it here. Add two text blocks. Now at a region. Create a new folder under your solution tree called Contents and add two contents. Adjust the size of Content 1 and Content 2 so they match the size of the region you're working with. At this point, you can add anything you want to your contents. For now, I'm just adding a text block to distinguish between both contents. Back to my tabs, I'm adding logic to the on the mouse click event. Then I need to assign my content path to the target content of the region. TCHMI region, semicolon, semicolon, target content equals contents, backslash content1.content. Upon clicking on the tab, the target region content will be set to the corresponding content. Make sure you are targeting the right platform and deploy it. Next, we are going to use TCHMI User Management to restrict access to certain functionalities of the HMI based on the user credentials. For this reason, I'm renaming my tabs to Operator and Maintenance. Add a TCHMI User Management object to your canvas. Create a new folder called Login Pages and add a new login page. Now go to TwinCat HMI and create two new groups, Operator and Maintenance. Next thing to do is to create users. Note that every object that you've added to your HMI has a visibility setting associated to it. Click on the locker to see it and edit it accordingly. I'm making the maintenance tab invisible to the operator. You can also test your HMI by going to TwinCat HMI Live View. 
click toggle auth simulation. If you haven't set an administrator password yet, you need it to do it now. Upon logging in as admin, log out and test your HMI user management. As you can see, Joe has only access to the Operator tab, while Sarah can use both Operator and Maintenance tabs. Let's see how we can use the Historize extension to save data and display it on a trend chart. I'm going to start by coding a simple sine wave. map fsyn to the HMI server. Right click on your HMI project and go to manage nugget packages. Install the nugget package for Historize. Click on the newly added Historize extension. Link the mapped sign variable to Historize. Add two daytime inputs. Add a trend line control element. Copy the name of your data time inputs. Link the inputs to the start and end of trend line control. In your trend line control element, go to common and click the three dot button. Add a new line graph description on the left side and link the mapped sine wave symbol on the right side. Deploy the HMI and see your data populate the trend chart.
I hope you find this video useful, but if you still need more help with your project, Beyond Kinematics offers consulting services in PLC and HMI development, robot programming, machine vision, and data acquisition. We also have a really cool pipeline for PLC offline development. We create a realistic digital twin of your machine and hook it up to a PLC. This way we can develop your application independently from having the hardware on hand. Don't hesitate to reach out, the contact info is in the description. Thank you.